trainer for this camp as well. On the promotional team, you've chosen boxer. Why? Yeah. <clears throat> um, why boxer? Uh, because every other promoter out here is a scumbag. That's why. You know, you've got uh, Frank Warren behind me. Been lying and cheating his way through boxing for the last couple decades. Wow. Sued me for a couple hundred thousand a few years ago, so obviously I was never going to go with him. Um, you know, the guy's a scumbag. Uh, Calais Sauerland, you know, had me locked up. Speak in Speak up, a, I can't hear you. You're Calais hungry. Sauerland had, uh, you know, had me locked up in a terrible contract for the last few years, squeezing money out of me at every opportunity. Um, scumbag, uh, Eddie Hearn, Frank Smith, you know, they did everything they could to try and make uh, this fight against Conor Ben still go ahead. Scumbag. Still go ahead. Why don't you fight Hamza Sharad scumbag? After knowing that they, uh, you know, that he was on the steroids. Um, scumbags, you know. I would say the only, why don't you ask I would why say the only promoter fight, that I know for sure isn't a scumbag, is His Excellency, Turkey Al Shay. You know, this is a man who isn't trying to take money from fighters. Uh, he isn't trying to use lawyers and accountants to uh, lock fighters up in slave contracts. Um, you know, he's a man of God. He's a man of religion. That's what's most important to the people of Saudi Arabia. He just wants to put the biggest fights on, the best events on, and, uh, and pay fighters what they're worth. And as a fighter, um, you know, it's a blessing to be a fighter at this moment of time because this is the first time we've ever had a promoter like this in the history of boxing. Um, oh, and, you know, Ben Shalom's a very cool guy too.